PR check. So let's take a look into the future duchess that Prince Harry is going to be marrying. I'm feeling intuitively that he's not going to be divorcing Meghan Markle anytime soon, but intuitively I'm feeling if they do divorce, it would be around fi five to ten years. That's what I'm picking up. But let's see what the cards say and also with what um, the future Duchess is, an update on that. So let's go ahead and get started. And if you are just randomly browsing by, welcome. Please consider subscribing where we talk about celebrity gossip. Also with royalty, life purpose, and self-worth. So if you are a personal development nerd like I am, please consider subscribing. And we also do reviews as well. Reviews and also how-to tutorials, which will be coming up pretty soon. So let's take a look around the future Duchess. Let's look at her energies. I don't need all those cards. <laughs> So how is everybody today? I'm using the pinup tarot today. <laughs> I got off of Etsy. So I'm just going to be shuffling face down. You won't see I'm manipulating the cards. Let's take a look at the first one. Sometimes they like to stick. So we have the Queen of Cups. So she's going to be a water sign female. what is crossing we have the four of wands what is underneath we have the full reversed recent past Three of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles reversed. And I got in another reading too that she was going to be a water sign. We have the King of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords, and I'm doing a Celtic Cross to get a general overview of the situation. Sometimes these cards, like, so we have the Three of Cups here, which is in the environment. So there's going to be an agreement between the family and the, her family, and of herself. This is interesting. All right, so the ninth one, we have the six swords. And... Oh, this one popped out. That's the hopes and fears, the six of swords. And okay, I'll grab both. All right, the outcome. We have the Hermit, <laughs> they, it came out again. And we have the Empress reversed. I did another recording, it, recording it and it messed up and Four of Wands, the um, Queen of Cups reversed, the Hermit and the Empress came out again. So I'm leaving it, that's the way it's meant to be. And let's see what's on the bottom. We have the Four of Swords reversed here. <laughs> so let's take a look all right what is the general matter heart of the matter we have the queen of cups queen of cups signifies a water sign woman who's a query non aquarius um scorpio scorpio cancer or um pisces so somebody who's fair skinned who is either blonde or brunette hence the 
or it could be a dirty blonde woman a dirty blonde haired woman so the per picture there is dirty blonde so let's take a look I don't feel I should read this reverse because it is actually her as is representing a person this is someone who is creative of love and also in touch with her emotions so somebody who's very loving we have the four of wands here though we have a card here which crosses the matter this signifies the four of wands is actually a completion card it's so showing a circle's been completed he is she's going to complete him she's going to just like randomly just come in his life but intuitively i feel that the right the family she already hangs out with the royal family this is what i'm picking up because we here we have the fool here which is another major arcana here This expresses um, new beginnings and also wisdom and courage. And I'm not going to read these reverse because I feel that this is positive and intuitively I feel that they don't need to be negative. Because it's in the reverse position it has to do with um, child, chi um, being child-like and also lack of motivation. But this is somebody who's going to be carefree, who's also making him feel alive again. That's what I'm picking up. We have the Three of Wands, which is the recent past. This is a card of inner balance. This is clear about the things we want to create in our life. This is the clarity card. This is what this feels like. We have the Eight of Pentacles here, which is on the surface. This is somebody that Prince Harry is going to um, be cautious about because of being hurt. This is what this feels like. What is on the mind? We have the Ace of Swords here. This is going to make Prince Harry she's going to make Prince Harry see things from a clear perspective so somebody who is going to be very action oriented we have here the hopes not hopes but the environment we have the three of cups here this is somebody who I'm feeling intuitively is already hanging out with the family but they're going to be friends at first this also is a network of support and somebody who is going to make him feel supported and loved. What is the hopes and fears? We have the six of swords here. This is a card of passing through a stormy, difficult time. And new beginnings are going to start because we have the fool here. Fool stands for beginnings. Let's see what's the outcome. I got the hermit here. Somebody who is going to be be in his own private time. It's going to take a while before he mends again. Because we have the empress here. The empress is somebody who's going to be very nurturing and loving. Just like the water sign woman. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> water sign woman we have the queen of cups and we also have the empress here so somebody who is going to be very nurturing and loving um prince harry is you know clearly having some struggles at the moment but if 
everything goes according to what the cards are have been saying and this is intuitively and for entertainment purposes only it's intuitively I feel that it's going to be five to ten years it's not going to be anytime soon but this is somebody who is already in the circle of prince of the um royal family so that's what i'm picking up so somebody who's a water sign woman yeah but overall it looks like that he that still still in the picture that's what I'm picking up, but I thought we would do a Duchess update, and I'm going to upload this on YouTube, and I hope everybody's having a great evening, afternoon, or morning, and share your thoughts below on what you think about this. Have a great day, evening, or afternoon. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.